What's up everyone? Welcome back. This week we are doing the impossible. We are going where no man has gone before. We are bravely going, bravely, is that a word? Going where no man has gone before. And that is building a pizza oven. <laughs> it is really hot out today, which is why I'm not wearing a shirt. And which is why I can't really see. Man, that sun is bright. But it is what it is. We will soldier on and get this done. So behind me is a sheet of melamine board. I gotta get out of the sun, I'm dying. And uh, we will be using that to make a jig. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. Template? I don't know, we gotta make we gotta make a concrete slab. So I gotta make it out of the melamine board and uh, pour the concrete into it and that'll give me a nice smooth concrete slab. So that's what we gotta do. Gotta mark this out and then uh, we can get to work. Ugh, blinded. Things to white off that board just blinded me. I got the form for the concrete slab I gotta make. Two by three. Now I have made the arch for the bricks that are gonna go around here. I originally cut it too big. I cut it three feet wide and I forgot I gotta account for the size of the the width of the bricks. So they will sit on that and go around. This I'm gonna pour concrete in and it's gonna be my slab for the pizza oven to sit on. So far so good. It hasn't been so bad. Uh, besides it being extremely hot today. Really getting tired of the heat. But I'll get it done. I'll get it done. This isn't really a, a how-to channel. We're gonna tell you how I did this anyways. So to make this arch, I just took a string, found the center, put a screw in it, took a string, found out where it, the end was gonna be, and then just took a pen and went up around like that, which makes the perfect arch. And as you see. And that's how you do that, folks. What did you say with the oven? I said it's not a very good idea to make it out of wood. Because that's going to burn. You think? Yeah. You don't think it'll last very long? No, man. Trust me. No? Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably make this out of, like, brick. Or metal. Metal will work? Yeah, it'll rust, though. That's the only thing. So you'd rather burn that shit down? And making that look like <laughs> Well, see, I'm making it out of brick. But in order to make the arch for the for the oven, you need something to support the brick until it dries. Right? And that's what the wood's for. The wood's to support until it dries and then you take the wood out. Alright, so we got the form all made up. We got the wire inside to reinforce the concrete and now we're gonna pour the concrete and let it dry overnight and then we should be good for tomorrow okay we are on location and we've started the pizza oven uh, originally we were going to put the pizza oven right on this paver patio we did we decided to kind of push it off the patio a bit because it's just going to take up too much room. So that's what we did. I kind of extended the base a little bit, put some pavers down, and now we're just stacking some of the uh, some of this stone here. Stacking it up. So in this area here, uh, you'll be able to put some wood and then uh, it's going to go up a little bit and then there's going to be a slab and the oven's going to be on top of that. That's the stage we're at now. We've just been gluing the rows as we go up, keep them nice and secure, and that's where we're at. So, we got the concrete slab I poured on there. As you can see. We had to kind of grind the bricks down a bit to, to get a level so it would sit right. It's not perfect, but it'll be good enough. And the slab didn't quite turn out as nice as I'd like. But it kind of adds character to the whole fire pit because it's kind of got a rustic look anyways. 
and once we get the bricks on top of that, it's going to be covered 90% anyway, so I won't even notice. Now we just got to water down these fire bricks. And then we're going to mix the mortar and uh, start laying some of the, the bricks. Okay, our work here is complete. Let me show you the big reveal. You ready? You ready for this? Boom, look at that. Amazing. It's a, it's a one use kind of fire pizza oven. So, uh, yeah, very expensive one use pizza oven. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That's the, the uh, frame thingy that I made. So I can put the bricks around it until it all dries together. That kind of holds it in place. Uh, it's not some of my best work, but uh, you know, it's the first time I've ever done something like this, so I think it'll still be fine. I should have used a different kind of board to wrap it around here. But it's all good, man. It's gonna be wicked. What do you think? Yeah? Here are the fire bricks. We had to soak them in water, so when we put the mortar on them, they won't soak up the, the moisture of the mortar. And, and then your mortar fails, so you don't want that happening, man. Nope, no sir. All right, well, let's get to work. Now well, we're making some progress here. Progress report. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've started making the, the oven itself. Uh, I've, I've never laid bricks before, so... Easy on me. Uh, it's turning out pretty good though. I realize there's a front and a back to bricks. As you can see, some of the company's name on it here. Not bad. It's all learning process. Kind of in a time crunch here, so I haven't been recording much. The cement will dry, and then I'll be SOL, you know? And I hear thunder in the background, so I'm hoping we can get this done before it rains and or the mud dries up. So, I'm gonna get back to work. Well, there you have it, folks. We are done, and the, uh, the pizza oven turned out pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's my first time laying bricks and uh, building a pizza oven. So, I think all things considered, I think it turned out pretty good. So, thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. Peace.